What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how wide receivers can remember all of the things that we teach when it comes to route running, press releases, how to read defenses, how to read defenders, and things of that nature. So I hope this video helps you guys out and teaches you like how you can actually apply this stuff to an actual live game. So I've seen it time and time again. There are plenty of receivers, you know, who could do all the drill work. They understand the concepts. They get everything, but they, when it comes to playing and comes to actually applying it when you're in full helmet, shoulder pads, and the bright lights are on on Friday night or Saturday or whenever you're playing – guys fold. They don't remember how to do the stuff that they're supposed to do, and they don't know when to actually apply some of the technical points that we cover, right? And that's a totally normal thing. It's a lot of it's repetition, but also it's how you're studying the position, right? So we're going to go over two specific examples here, and we're just going to mainly talk about, okay, this is how I would take notes on this. This is how I would study this situation, and then this is how I would actually apply it, okay? So now, first clip we're looking at here is from Cooper Cup. This is a route he ran this past weekend, right? So we have an outside shade DB, and Cup is going to be running a corner route, right? So like how I would structure my notes, this is what I did, is I would set up like, you know, maybe like five to six different coverages that we might see, right? And again, it differs from team to team. But again, if you're right now, you're sitting in the off season and you're, you know, you're studying film, you're watching teach tape, whatever it is, and you're trying to figure out how can I get better? How can I get that hour a night in watching film? You want to set up maybe like six different categories, right? So like in a notebook or on a laptop, whatever it is, you maybe want to set up like press man and then like kind of underline it and go outside shade, inside shade, head up. And then you would go off man. You go inside shade, outside shade, head up. And then you maybe go zone coverage where it's just pretty much head up or outside shade wouldn't necessarily see too much of an inside shade look, right? So I would label all of those. And then what I would go through is for each specific route that I have in my playbook, I would talk about how I would run that specific route, right? So now for this example, we have a corner route. So we're going to play this full speed and then we're going to talk about it, right? So if I have a corner route against an outside shade DB, I could talk about the press release that I would use and maybe the move at the top of the route in that notebook. And that's how I can remember this stuff, right? So the whole goal of this specific video is to get you guys to be able to go into a game, have a plan and then execute the plan, right? So again, now maybe in my notebook, what I write down is, okay, this DB's outside shade. So I know he's outside shade and maybe you put notes underneath each one, but you go, okay, he's outside shade. You refer to your notes. If I have a corner route, this is what I would do. If I have an out route, this is what I would do. So in this specific case, he's outside shade. He's outside shade for a reason. He is trying to force us to the inside, right? So if he's trying to force us to the inside, we know that we don't want to just take off and run the in to the inside and we're probably not going to get the outside release, right? So what I would do for this corner route is I would write down, okay, if he's outside shade, I'm going to give him a move to keep his leverage to the outside, take the inside release, restack and work a move at the top. Now, then another thing for press coverage, what I would do, okay, if he's inside shade, I'd give him a move to the inside, get him to keep his leverage, work, take the outside release, restack and break it off. Or what I would do is if maybe he's head up press, I would write down that, okay, I got a two-way go. I could go outside release, I go inside release. So what I could do there is maybe like a release, like a split release, something of that nature, but that's how you guys can remember and actually be able to react to the specific defensive coverage look that you will see, okay? So now I'm going to play this thing one more time, then we're going to get into an off-man coverage situation and how you guys would take notes on that specific situation to improve your game and remember how to handle these specific situations. But before I get into that, fellas, I want to talk to you about a great opportunity we have on our website. We're going to be coming out with an ultimate wide receiver training schedule. We've already actually released this specific schedule. If you guys want some more information on this, check out that very first link in the description below. We give you four weeks of wide receiver specific gym workouts and field workouts all mapped out for you guys in a daily schedule with sets, repetitions, workout splits, rest periods, conditioning days, and we give you over a 30 minute long video explaining each specific drill for the on field workout portion of this schedule. So if you guys want some more information, ultimate ultimate wide receiver training schedule for a full month long program. Check out that very first link in that description below. Let's get back to this video. So now how would we structure like off man coverage, right? So again, all, there's a ton of information out there. There's a ton of different ways that you can run routes, but going into a game, you don't want to have eight to 20 different things on your mind, right? You can't go up to the line and be like, okay, coach talked about that release, talked about this release, talked this, this release, this release, this release. Oh, I could just pick whichever one because too much to think about. The game of football is very fast. It is a very technical game, but it goes very fast, right? So you have to know already before walking into the stadium, walking onto the field, what you're going to do before you even see the defensive look. That comes through film study, but also that comes through just preparation in the offseason, knowing what's going to work against each specific coverage. You should be confident from watching these videos, from doing whatever kind of film study that you do, that any coverage that they throw at you, you're prepared and you know how to run around against it, right? So now for this example, right? So we have an outside shade 
off-man coverage situation, right? So very similar to what we were doing. And now he's going to be running a post route, right? So what I would do is I would go through that post route. What am I going to do against these three specific off-man coverage situations? I have an outside shade guy. So what would I do? Let's play this thing full speed. How does he actually run this? He attacks the leverage, gives him that rocker step outside. There's more like kind of a skinny post, I guess you could say, and then makes this play over the middle, right? So, okay, that's totally fine. So if I have to run a post, like let's pretend this is like a bang eight post, for example, or that's a little bit more like a dig. Let's say it's like a bang eight post, like right off the break. It's like a harder break, harder cut. It's a quicker throw. If you have this outside shade guy, you do exactly that so i'd walk through it outside shade i'd write down the notes post route i would attack his leverage i'd give him a rocker step at the top give him some kind of move but attack his leverage so he'll keep his leverage and then break this thing off okay that's what i would do because that db has safety help to the inside so if I attack his leverage and I widen him, that just creates a bigger window for the quarterback to throw me open into before the safety can get there and make a play, right? So then I would go to the next one. What would I do if I had to run a post route and he was head up? I would go step on his toes. I would close the distance, try to get him to backpedal and probably threaten him to his outside shoulder a little bit and then slip back underneath. Now, what would I do if he was inside shade, right? I would go hard at the outside shoulder, get him to flip those hips, and then I would slip back underneath. Because if I go attack his outside shoulder he's going to commit his hips he's not going to give up his leverage a lot of people would square up on an inside shade guy and then try to break off in front of him but you'll run right into that db so that's how you guys can study these specific situations it's not complicated fellas you have to keep it simple you have to have maybe about five to six different releases different moves that you guys can use in a game and make them all build off of each other they all have to look the same fellas that's how you guys can get better that's how you guys can remember that thing you have to get out a piece of paper write it down put it on a computer whatever it is and study those situations so when you get into practice you get into seven on seven you get into 11 on 11 which is the only thing that really matters at the end of the day but i mean practice obviously matters but not seven on seven 11 on 11 that's how you can apply it because you're ready for those looks you've gone over the routes a hundred times in your head and what you would do in that situation because again fellas everybody can learn the technique i'm confident everybody can run routes to a certain degree at a certain point but do you actually apply it in the game situation when you need to apply it? And that's what the point of this video is. Watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Great job by this receiver attacking the outside shade DB on that post route to showcase an example of what you guys can do when you face outside leverage off man coverage. All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this style of video or you have any kind of video suggestions, you know, I really appreciate the feedback. We love hearing from you guys. So if you want to have any, add any uh, video suggestions to this channel, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We really appreciate the feedback, like I said. And again, fellas if you would like a four week long wide receiver gym and on field training schedule with over 100 plus gym exercise and wide receiver drills built in with sets repetitions rest periods conditioning days and a video explaining each drill check out that very first link in the description below i'll see you guys next time